adjustments you make from last drive that allowed you to be as sharp as you were this evening? Um, yeah, we just you know had some time between the week to, to work on stuff and uh, just back on the grindstone trying to trying to find the fastball lines, uh, find the changeup lines. You know, at, uh, last week against Detroit it was a little wonky. You know, I wasn't at my best. I was sporadic with command and tried to hone that back in. Um, you know with the staff um, and the pitching coaches and, and get back dialed in and, and it worked out. It seemed like you were able to really locate that fastball early in the yeah. game. When you were able to do that, just how much better did that make you your slider? Yeah, you know, I had Trevi behind the plate today and, you know, he. I thought he's, I didn't, I, I didn't, I didn't shake it on any pitch. If the shakes you saw were mostly fake shakes and I, I just rolled with what he called and I thought Trevi was, was really great back there with the game plan, you know, um, uh, he's caught well and, um, you know, we got we put up zeros defensively. We played really well, and, and we scored runs when we needed to. Some big homers from the, the two big boys, and uh, the bullpen came in and shut it down. And I thought we played a great game. You mentioned that the starting pitchers often are, are pretty, you know, relaxed. They're are focused in the dugout mm -hmm. when they're waiting to go back out there. But on some of those home runs, the video caught you kind of going a little crazy. Just what's it like in that dugout when you see those guys doing what they're doing? Yeah, I mean, everybody loves watching a home run. Um, Preferably not on the mound. Obviously, in the dugout, it's uh, more fun to watch when our team hits them. And you know, the number 49 for Judge, I was excited. And I'm um, staying with the you know patented Oppo Taco to here in Yankee Stadium. I mean, he hit that ball. I, I don't, I don't think it was his best ball. He's just so strong. He just goes out there and makes a good swing and, and hits that ball up. Oh, I mean, yeah, it's, it's nice to have those guys in the lineup. Four home runs in four games for him, 49 yeah. on the season, as you mentioned, goes yeah. opposite field. Just how do you kind of process what, what he's able to do and how much better it seems like he is than anyone else in the league? Yeah, I mean, he's a, as we know, he's a, probably the best hitter in this game. Um, he's a great player, uh, but he's a, he's a better teammate, better, better man for sure. I mean, I feel like, uh, we talk about Aaron Judge as a player, but Aaron Judge as a, as a human being is, uh, is top notch for sure as well. Outside the obvious run support you get, how much does when this team hit it, when this team is hitting, how much does it affect the pitching? Yeah, I, I feel like I've talked about this a lot. I've had a lot of run support <laughs> over this season. Um, they seem to like to score runs for me, and it's great. Um, it just it just makes it easier to go out there and, and uh, attack the zone and get guys out when you get a cushion. And um, yeah, it puts it puts the, the starting pitcher at ease. Well, What's it like watching? Yeah. What's it like watching Aaron do what he does with all eyes on him? Everyone when he gets to the plate, they expect a homer. Because like he hits one just like every game now. It's like <laughs> watching a guy with those expectations perform like he does. Yeah, I mean, uh, he he uh, he does have high, high expectations um, at all times. Um, yeah, it's impressive for him to, to perform the way he does with uh, with those high expectations. I mean, you know, it's he hits a lot of home runs, but he also strings together great at bats. You know, he he fouls off pitches, he works counts. I mean, the guy's hitting. What 340 now? Um, OPS above a thousand, probably 1100. I mean, hundred something RBIs. I mean, he's he's had an incredible season thus far. Does the starting pitch and feed off each other? You've had a nice run there, like you did earlier. Yeah, I think um, you know we had a, a great start from Stroman. Um, we had a great start from from Ness. Ness had a great start last night. I mean, or sorry, nine four and Garrett goes out there and throws up zeros as well. I mean, yeah, I think. Uh, I think we do feed off each other. You know, we want to perform just as good as the next guy. It's, it's, you know, we're we're almost competing against each other. Just keep throwing up those zeros. You know, you don't want to be the guy that gives up the run. So, Carlos, you weren't here two years ago when he hit 62. What, no. what is? How does this measure up to what you saw from afar? Um, yeah, I, I watched Aaron Judge on TV back in 22 when he hit 62. I think every 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 game that he played was on TV or there was some some coverage when he was at you know in the high 50s. So. Um, I mean, I feel like I, I wasn't here in 22, but I feel like he's more of a complete hitter this year. I mean, like I said, he's hitting 340. He's he's working counts. He, I mean, he gets walked at an outrageous clip. He gets intentionally walked. I mean, and still be able to do that damage um, when he might only get three to two at bats. Another two are, are intentional walks. It's it's impressive. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, Barry Bonds was a, a, probably arguably the best hitter ever to have played baseball. Um, and that's, uh, that's high praise for Aaron. I mean, I, I could definitely see it for sure. That's huge. You know, there's a little rough stretch there for a little bit, but 
know, guys are figuring out and, and doing their thing. You know, with the offense we have, you know, they go out there, give us a couple zeros early, and uh, allow the offense to kind of get working. Good things are going to happen. But you know, it's, I feel like it's just start after start. Guys are trying to one up each other. You know, we saw from Cole, see it from Rodon, and you know, continue into tomorrow. Do you ever get a chance just to process the numbers you have, and if so, what's going through your mind? I don't. I don't. Uh, season's too long and too hard to do that. So just focus on the next game and what we can do to win. Even in your best years, have you ever felt as locked in as you are now? I'm trying to get locked in. Once we get locked in, then I'll let you guys know. Mm -hmm. But just like I said, try to keep it simple. I think that's uh, the best thing I can say. I try to do too much every single day. We got a great lineup. We got a great team. You know, if we just go out there and do our job, you know, good things are going to happen and your numbers are going to be there. How would you evaluate your season so far? Evaluate the season? It's, it's not over yet. So once uh, once I get a chance to reflect on it when it's over, we'll we'll go over it. It's just um, we're in first place, and that's all that matters right now. When it comes to numbers, people are bringing up Barry Bonds. Um, you're a guy who's a you know, Giants fan, obviously. What's it like to be you know, alongside someone like that? A lot of people assume just like no one would ever, you know, be in the game. Yeah, it's not real. I try not to think about it. You know, even when they would say a lot of the Yankee greats here, you know, Mantle, DiMaggio, it's Maris, it's Babe Ruth. It's tough to comprehend or even think about, so just don't think about it and just keep going. You got to watch him a lot, though, growing up in the Bay Area. Is there anything about him you like to let me like? I love how easy he made the game look, you know, on the offensive side and defensive side. You know, he would get one pitch a night and he'd hit it out of the park. Uh, I'm definitely not not there at that point. So, you know, just trying to be like him, trying to be like a lot of guys. But uh, he was the greatest to ever do it, so I, I can't really compare to that. Aaron, there was a point in May where you were hitting under 200, but you never seemed to worry. Why? We got 162 games. Uh, it's, it's a process. It's I think the most important thing at that time is we were winning ball games, winning a lot of games. So... You know, who am I to sit here and pout about what's going on with me? You know, it's if you're not hitting well, get in the cage, figure some things out, talk with people, and you know, try to be a good teammate. So you know, I wasn't too worried because we were winning, and I think it it kind of evened itself out. Is that what you did at that point? You just got in the cage and figured some things out, or was there more to it? That's really just putting the work in, talking with people, going back to the basics. If something if it feels right and it just takes at bats, then you know, stick with that. But. It's just about trial and error, and but like I said, it came down to we were winning ball games, so that's all I was really worried about. And I knew after 400, 500 at bats, if I just focus on being a good teammate, the numbers will show up. You're winning games regularly again, like you did early in the year. What's the feeling like around the team? It, it's good, you know. It's really never wavered, but I think a lot of us are looking at the schedule and seeing that we're running out of ball games until the end of the season. So it's it's time to go. You know, we had a good talk the other day in our hitters meeting just about. You know how many series we have left, and you know what we have in front of us, and what kind of opportunity we have. And so I think it's just a lot of guys realizing that and saying, "Hey, like it's time to step on the gas." Aaron Boone said uh, today, like it, as impressive as this is, it doesn't feel like you're on fire. Do you feel agree with that? Do you think there's a middle level you can reach as, as well as you played the last hundred games and change? I, I agree. You know, once once we get locked in, I'll, I'll let you guys know, but. Uh, <laughs> So there's always work to work to be done. You know, it's I was one for four today. I missed an opportunity with guys on base. You know, I hit into a ground ball, a, a, a double play. So there's always always room to improve. So. Um. Hopefully, we're always improving to the last day I'm here. So we'll uh, we'll see. We'll talk at the end. Aaron, usually the guys will say that home runs come on mistakes. Is that pitch today feeling like a mistake? Uh, Freeland's a tough pitcher. He's, he's pitched me tough in the past. He's got a good fastball, two different fastballs to use, and a good changeup off of that. So, you know, a guy like that, you kind of got to pick a side of the plate and, and do some damage. So, you know, luckily I was I was looking in that situation. He got me out in earlier. So, um, just able to get the barrel on it, some, somewhat barrel. And, Got to run. One of the things you said was he feels like you're doing a better job contro controlling the strike zone this year. Was that one of the things you felt like you needed to improve on coming into this year? Yeah, definitely. Just my whole career, it's just been, you know, attack in, attack down and away. Um, 
teams have gotten a lot of calls down away, and that gets a little frustrating. But you know, there's nothing I can do. If they're going to call pitches off the off the plate, you know, I'll battle with two strikes. But I got to stick to to my strength and what I can do. If they're going to leave mistakes, hammer the mistakes, look for your zone, and, and just do that. So I just want to be a complete player, you know, especially with our lineup, the guys we got. Getting Soto, we got Stan hitting behind me. And you know, my job is to get on base for those guys. And, yeah, let them let them drive me in. Aaron, a lot of the old timers are coming in tomorrow. I'm sure a lot of them are going to want to watch you play, pick your mind. Uh, a Rod Jeter. Is there some of those guys that you enjoy talking to? Them? Is there anything that, that you can learn from them? I know it's different eras, but a lot of those had a lot of success here in one year. Yeah, definitely. You know, I was talking with Jeter the other night and told me he was coming in, so pretty excited about that. Get a chance to talk to him in person. It's been a minute. But you can always learn something from those guys. They're, they won a championship here. You know, there's got a lot of the guys in this room have not won a championship, and you, know, you can always pick up something from them. It's, if it's mindset, if it's a thought and approach, just anything. But that's what's always cool about old timers day and playing for the Yankees. Those guys always come around, and you know, they're always happy and willing to share some info. So we'll definitely be we'll definitely be bugging them. That's for sure.